Hey there, home labbers and engineers. FE Engineer here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do something a little bit different uh, compared to most of the stuff I do on my channel, and I am going to actually utilize my uh, my front end engineering skills. Uh, so with that, this channel is starting to grow a little bit, and I am going to build a website for this channel for YouTube content. And along with that, I am going to largely document the majority of it for folks who do like to build websites and want to potentially build something moderately similar. Along with that, I am going to try to piecemeal out most of building the website. I don't want to create a five hour video. I don't want to edit a five hour video. And I want people to be able to watch a reasonably short video and learn how to do something in particular without having to scrub through hours upon hours of video or videos and videos and videos of stuff that they do not care about. So along with that, one of the very first questions to do and to ask yourself whenever you're building a website is effectively, what are you going to build it with? And for myself, I am a uh, pretty experienced React engineer. Um, I have dedicated a lot of my professional career to React over the last, I don't know, seven years or so. And with that, I'm going to be building my website on Remix because I think it's fantastic. I've used it several different times and it's, it's awesome. Uh, it highly leverages the native browser APIs and functions that are just in a normal browser like Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge, etc. And I find it to be better overall once you get through a little bit of the learning curve. It works the way that you want it to and it does things the way that you want it to. And compared to running something like Next with React, um, I find that developers have an easier time once they kind of get the hang of Remix a little bit to develop websites both faster and better than in Next. In Next, I find a lot of people end up getting confused on what's server side and what's client side and sending server side stuff to the client side and then all sorts of weird tangly messes occur. With Remix, I find it easier to keep stuff cleaner and more understandable. So anyway, I'm gonna use Remix, it's awesome, and it's what I wanna use. On top of Remix, we are going to use what is called Mantine. Uh, Mantine is a UI kit, a component library. Along with their component library, they also have a ton of React hooks. Um, React hooks don't work server side, so it's only for stuff that you're doing client side. But either way, I find that Mantine's components are great and the hooks that they provide end up solving a lot of things that come up occasionally with front end developing that can easily bog you down or cause some weird things to happen. Uh, and again, I find Mantine to be very full featured and supporting an awful lot of stuff. And the reason why you use a component library versus building every single thing by hand is component libraries are highly unit tested. They tend to be tested for accessibility and things like that, that depending on how much time you wanna spend may be more complicated. And so if you're using something like Mantine and you're following something like atomic design principles, then using something like this means that effectively the majority of your atoms are all unit tested. And if your molecules are made up really of only atoms, and then your molecules don't generally need to have much unit testing. And then if organisms are made up of multiple potentially combinations of molecules and atoms, well, again, this is all effectively already unit tested for you straight out of the box. So functionality becomes 
easier to guarantee and reliability goes way up while dev time goes way down. So we're going to build a website. We're going to use Remix and Mantine effectively as the back plate of everything in the boilerplate that we're going to start with. So along with that, we'll go down into Mantine and start setting stuff up. Since this is not a computer that I typically do a lot of website development on, I am going to actually spend some time getting NVM up and running as well as PNPM for the package manager. I'm going to go ahead and create a GitHub folder. So sudo make directory GitHub. We're going to CD into that GitHub directory. And then we're actually going to create a GitHub repository. Since Remix already has GitHub templates set up, you have to create a new repository and pull that template in. So I have gone ahead and in GitHub set to create a new repository. I'm going to call it FE Engineer Website. The description is website for my YouTube channel. It's going to be public. I'm going to hit Create Repository. But so let's get into actually setting up this website. So we just copied a Remix template. So the first thing we want to do is pnpm install. pnpm went ahead and installed, and it only took eight seconds. Not too bad. PN... Let's go ahead and run dev. Localhost 3000. And welcome to Mantine. Fantastic. This starter remix project includes a minimal setup for server side. If you want to learn more, go ahead and go to these. Wonderful. All right. So Mantine is actually up and running and remix is up and running. On the Mantine page, we are actually going to install hooks, core, form, dates, notifications, code highlight, tip tap, maybe. Uh, drop zone, potentially carousel, and modals. I think those are the only ones that I need. So I'm going to go ahead and install all of these dependencies. Control C, add a P in, and then hit Control V. So you can see that right out of the box, this GitHub template effectively builds us all of this. And you'll see that while this is by no means complex, this is all up and running, so Mantine is in, and Remix is up and running, and now we can push this up to the website. All right, so just as a manner of housekeeping, the way it's currently set up with components is not the way that I want to leave it forever, so I'm going to create a new folder. Atoms, create a new folder. Molecules, create a new folder, organisms. Personally, I like following atomic design principles. I find it helps to organize my components into a more meaningful architectural set. So for the moment, I'll leave it as atoms, molecules, and organisms. This color scheme toggle, this can go inside of atoms. This welcome message can also go inside of atoms. Okay, so I've gone ahead and created a folder inside of organisms called splash. Inside of there, there's an index.ts that imports my splash and exports it. There's a splash tsx file, which just effectively says this. And I think that this is in a reasonable spot, that this is something that I can put up. So I've gone ahead and made a few small slight tweaks. I changed the default color scheme to just be auto, meaning that it will use whatever a user's browser is specifically saying that it wants, either light or dark theme. I went ahead and updated the port number so that the port 
comes through in a realistic way so that I can then target it for deploying out. But along with those things, I made GitHub changes. I went and pushed uh, my code up to GitHub in a branch and then PR'd it into master just like any good little dev does. And then of course in here I get pulled. And so with that, with Remix, whenever you make any changes, you wanna do pnpm build. But so along with that, after we build it, we wanna pnpm start. That's just the command that we're using to start our server. And then you'll see that it says that it's available on this currently on here. And if I bring it in, then it does in fact work. We hit the reload button. We can see that we were able to get it without any troubles in an effort to streamline this as much as possible, at least at the beginning. Uh, in the future, I will automate an awful lot of this. But for now, I am using PM2 as a way to run my server in the background without it closing out when I sever my SSH connection. And so with that, I have a pnpm stop command that will go ahead and stop my pm2 instance. And I have another website up here running with the name of Remix. But with that, I can also run pnpm start and it will go ahead and spin up a pm2 instance. And so with that, I set it to port 3002, and if I reload the page, you'll see that it is indeed up and running. For folks who may be somewhat interested in the PM2 commands that I'm running, inside of package.json, I created a start script, and my start script runs PM2 start. It gives the instance a name of FE, I tell it to update my environment variables in case I end up changing any environment variables. This needs to be run. It says that I'm going to be using pnpm and it says to effectively run the command for remix. And then my remix command is pnpm build. So it will do that. And then after that, synchronously, it runs pnpm start remix. And start remix sets my port to 3002, sets up remix serve, and tells it to serve out from this build index.js. If you are watching this recording, then you should be able to go to fe-engineer.com and you should see this exact page. Now, if you are watching this long after this video has been published, then chances are this splash page will be changed out to the actual website. Thank you so much for watching my videos, home labbers and engineers. I create and edit all of these videos on my own, so any likes and subscribes will massively help out the channel and allow me to continue creating content to help people. If you got value out of this, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel to be notified when new content drops. If there's something I've not covered but you would like to see a video on it, please leave a comment down below. And again, a massive thank you to everyone. I hope you have a great day.